Hello, and welcome to 1515 with TFA, which is a Q&A with a player and a parent. So today I'm happy to welcome uh, Danny and Alex, his father. Hello. Hello. And this is our 1515. Ask both of you a series of questions. Uh, firstly, I'll start with you, Alex. Uh, when did you discover that your child has a talent for soccer? Um, probably 10 years ago, uh, a little bit more. We're all a soccer player family. That's good. You want to give us more insight on it? Uh, yes. My dad used to be a professional soccer player in Venezuela. And that's probably how we all got into it, into the soccer, soccer playing field. That's great to know. Uh, and now for you, Danny. How long have you been playing soccer and how long for TFA? Honestly, as long as I can remember. Soccer my whole life. Uh, for TFA, I've been playing, this is my first term. I started at end of last year. Okay, now Alex, did you play soccer before and do you still practice any sports, soccer or non soccer? I did play soccer a lot when I was uh, younger. <laughs> I played soccer once in a while, not enough, uh, and uh, I tried to exercise once in a while. That's good, exercise is always good, and uh, now. Danny, who has always encouraged you to play soccer, like family or outside your family, anyone? Mostly like my mom and dad and my granddad because he was a professional. That's where a lot of my soccer comes from. Did your mom play soccer too? No. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, now, for you, Alex, uh, can you give us details on your childhood and your love for soccer? Uh, I was born in Venezuela and uh, started playing soccer in Venezuela with some of the teams and same as Danny with the school as well. And uh, continue on into college, tried several other sports as well, other than soccer and tennis and, and martial arts, but always with a passion for, for soccer. That sounds great. And now, uh, Danny, did you play in other academies and what would you say is unique about TFA? I did, I played for IFA, which is another one. Uh, unique, I guess, is how much they prepare you for scholarships and stuff. Because that's unique to this one, the other ones they didn't really do that for me. Yeah, that's a great thing about TFA. And now for you, Alex, um, what clubs and academies have, has he played for so far, other than TFA? Um, and well, from you, what you recall? Yeah, he... Uh... He played in Indonesia, we lived in Indonesia for a while. He played for the school in Indonesia and, and, and the team as well there. He played in the, in the U.S. for a couple of uh, teams in, in Houston as well in the competition level. And uh, he had been um, with another academy before joining uh, TFA here and also plays for the school team as well. Uh, what, how do you balance your academics with your sports? Obviously, like, some days it's sports, some days it's and for me, I'm lucky because today's Tuesday, and for me in school, Tuesday is a short day. So I have time to do what I need to do and then come to practice. Okay, and how do you study when you have days on, like Fridays? How do I study? Yeah. Like computer? Like, no, like how do, you, how do you balance your time when you have two, two hours of training of football? Oh, on Fridays? Time? Okay, like before, I usually study before. Practice. Oh, okay, that sounds great. Uh, uh, how do you encourage your son to play football while maintaining a high GPA? Well, uh, he will not play football if he doesn't get good grades. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good model. Would there any other things you tell him to do? No, he needs to, he needs to balance his, his time and, and put, uh, put the effort where it's needed. So if he, if he requires more time to study, then he needs to focus on the study side. If he requires more time to work with football, soccer, um, then he needs to balance that as well. So it's, it's, it's up to him. He's uh, now old enough that he can make his own decisions on that. And what do you prefer about TFA? I think it's very organized, uh, very structured, which is different than some other academies uh, that Ben uh, has played for or, or, or been with. Um, they encourage uh, they encourage kids to to look at both sides, the academic side and the and the uh, and the football side. So that that is a balance that 
you don't find it in, in, I haven't seen it in any other academy here in Dubai. And uh, Danny, what do you want to achieve out of the event? It would be honestly great to have a scholarship. That's a pretty much the end goal. Yeah, if, for TFA, I think everybody wants a scholarship. Yeah. Uh, so, what is your best advice to your son and to every other player in TFA? Um, to continue to work hard on the academics um, um, and at the same time maintaining their interest for sports, in this case, uh, football. Uh, but never, never uh, get away from going through college and getting a degree, and because that's that's the that's going to be for most of the kids the, the main the main uh, uh, um, area where they're gonna they're gonna develop their life. Yeah, and the last couple of questions. For what's what do you think is up for your future? What do I think is up? Yeah, like what do you want to do with your future? Um, I'm pretty, I'm aiming to go to UT Texas, which is a college that my sister goes to, and I love it, so that's what I like to do. And pick college football there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and can you pick out five players in TFA that you'd want to have a six-man squad with, so you and another five players? Uh, Umberto in the older team, uh, Danny in my team, Nirvan, Abbas, our goalie, Gondor. Aggie. Okay. So this has been the 1515 with TFA and that's it. We'll see you next time.